The BBC programme, which features Tommy Walsh, expert cleaner Maxine Dwyer and carpenter Asher Edwards, is back as the trio transform more messy homes across the country. However, in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, Maxine has opened up about what she discovered while cleaning some of the houses. Maxine recalled one makeover where they had to clean and transform a young professional's home. The cleaner admitted that poor Tommy and Asher didn't have the stomach for some of the projects as they both ended up retching. You'll see that when the episodes come out, Maxine explained. It was the young professional's washroom where I had to put a special suit on and I asked Tash if I could borrow a screwdriver to dig out the black stuff in the toilet. With the young professionals, they were busy, and their rooms were immaculate. She continued, but when it came to sharing, the cleaning, tasks, they didn't want to clean the bathrooms for example. They didn't want to do that, and it was absolutely filthy. It was a complete nightmare to film, Maxine recalled. I had to wear a Tyvek suit, that's how filthy it was. Clean it, fix it, which first aired last year, instantly became a hit with viewers as they watched the experts giving people's houses a grand makeover. Maxine went on to explain their work schedule is tiring as they have to complete each job within a day. We have one day and of course, you know how filming is, it's all stop and start, Maxine said. You have a break, then the rain comes, and we stop again. It's well crazy and tiring. In a recent episode of Clean It, Fix It, the team traveled to North London to help Ian and Bex transform their home. The couple, who share three young children together, needed help with managing the space in their cramped three-bedroom house. In one day, the experts had to transform the living room from an overrun play area into a space fit for all the family. Whilst upstairs, they also took on the challenge of creating a multifunctional home office for Ian. As Tommy inspected the upstairs space, he pointed out, I can see why it's not an ideal place to have a workstation. It's dark in here and the storage isn't the best.